little while ago I was challenged by Robbie the Woodturner to turn a 16 inch goblet. Uh, in return for achieving that he promised to upload a new video. Now as we all know Robbie's a very talented woodturner and I for one although, I'm, although I enjoy seeing his old videos being reposted I would love to see a new video from him. So I had to do the challenge. Now I know I did a goblet not so long ago so my apologies for that which is here and just about get it in shot I think. Oh, yeah. uh, one 18 inch goblet in um, oak burr. I didn't think I had the wood for it actually because I did try one out of, um, out of cherry, wet cherry, but it broke and I didn't have any wood long enough to produce this and uh, well of any sort. Anyway my, uh, my good old friend Simon Jackson uh, gave me what he calls an offcut of oak burr and it was uh, sort of like two and a half inch, three inch square and it was long enough so this is the result um, and as you can see a couple of the little pips have popped there which is a bit scary because when you get to that I still have sort of four or five inches to go and it was wobbling around like a good one. However, it stayed. It looks rather nice, um, totally impractical, but nevertheless, it is actually 18 and 3 eighths inches tall. So I actually surpassed Robbie's request of 16 inches by 2 and 3 eighths inches. Now, in return, Robbie, I and everybody else expect a new video from you. Um, and I shall look forward to that eagerly. A quick mention to a guy as well called Chris Fisher from Manchester. Uh, a few years ago Chris was struck down with a virus which left him totally blind. Uh, and this guy, he's an inspiration, to me anyway, and I'm sure he will be to you, when you learn that he's actually taken up wood turning and he loves it. And he listens to all our videos and uh, he's learned quite a bit from all of us on YouTube, which is great. Um, and I'm sure if you have any other questions, Chris, all of us will be more than happy to, uh, to answer your questions, mate, if you have any. I'm sure you'll be out turning us all before too long if you're not doing so already. Anyway, I, th I said I'd give Chris a mention, which I've done, and it's my pleasure uh, and honour to do that. So the bowl has now been sanded down inside and outside to 400. Um, as you can appreciate, as it's an oak bowl, it's very hard. However, we'll have to see how it comes out. I'm going to put um, sanding sealer on the inside now and finish it off with wax. And then we'll carry on with the stem. So we've got to a point now where the, the bowl is virtually finished and just working my way down the stem now and uh, I won't show you the whole process 
because I think it's going to be rather long and arduous. Robbie has got a lot to answer for giving me this challenge, but um, hopefully it'll come out. The bit I'm a bit worried about is we've got obviously got the burl here and that's going to be cut through which is very hard and it could just be cracks on the stem so what I'm going to do is um, leave the stem about that thickness, maybe a little bit less so I've got some sort of support when I get down to this edge. going to sand, finish sanding and finish to here because because of the um, the pippiness of the of the burl here it's really as you can see it's moving quite a bit so I'm gonna finish that off now. Just putting the second coat of wax on. Um, I don't advocate using a rag. I never use rags normally, but because it's got inclusions on it and burls, if I use the paper, it's going to catch. So very carefully, I'll be using a rag. And just make sure it doesn't get caught. The other thing as well, we're not at the tailstock end, at the headstock end rather, but the chuck. So uh, it's fairly safe, he says. And the reason that we're showing you this stage of the process is in case it breaks. Because if it does break, I'm still going to post this video. And Robbie, the challenge was not met. Wales failed. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so you know the challenge is from uh, young Robbie is for a goblet of 16 inches. Well, I'm doing this now because I've got a feeling it's got to go. Um, it's sort of 14 inches at the moment. I've got another 4 inches to go to go to 18, which is my target. And 16 is about here. And I'll be honest with you, if you look at it, you can see it's flexing quite a bit. So I've got a feeling before I finish it's going to go. But we'll see. Let's put the last, last coat of wax on the on this piece here. Very careful because it is flexing a lot as you can see. And there he is finished. Now all remains is to uh, is to part him off.
And there he is. In inches, I'll put the old tape measure up against it when I take a photograph at the end. And thanks very much for watching. Sorry if it was a boring old goblet again, but you know, when, you, when you're challenged, you've got to take up the challenge. And uh, I look forward to your video now, Robbie, as you promised. Well, take care and thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers now.